Hello and welcome to a new urban sketching video with pen and watercolor. This time we will be watercolor painting an Italian fountain, more precisely Neptune's fountain from Navona Square. I chose this scene because I like the way the light touches the statues and creates a nice composition of light and shadow. Hope you also like it. I started with a light pencil sketch, focusing on figuring out the proportions and the overall composition. The main composition is quite simple because it plays very well with the thirds. If we look at the buildings in the foreground, we can see that their top is in the upper third of the scene. They have an overall diagonal contour because of the viewing angle and the perspective. As you see in the planned diagram from Google Maps, the building have a slightly different orientation. This means that every building will have its own vanishing point on the horizon line to converge to. But we will not talk more about this because it is mainly a facade. And by getting the upper contour right and paying a bit of attention to the windows is enough to draw them in this case. Now let's look at the fountain basin. Its overall shape can be fitted into a simple rectangle shape. And it's also placed on the lower third but also under the horizon line so we see the top surface of the water. Now let's move to sketching the statues. I started with figuring out the overall shape and continue with breaking it into smaller and smaller parts that will end up being the statue. So I start with finding the proportion and the placement on the paper of Neptune's statue. First I imagine a shape in which the entire statue fits and I look at how this big shape is placed on the frame related to the thirds. Then I continue with doing the same process for the other statues, but now I look where they are placed on the paper related not only to the thirds, but also to Neptune's statue, the measuring unit that we mentioned earlier. Ok, so we arrived at step where we will further refine the sketch. Here I am just refining the sketch with a thinner pencil. I am mainly zooming in on the image and adding more details, building on top of the previous step, also erasing some parts where needed to keep the sketch clean. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, 
please press the like button and also subscribe to my channel because I post videos weekly about woodman sketching with pen and watercolor. Also, let me know in a comment below what do you think about this video and if you have any suggestion for future videos. In this next step, we'll be inking the sketch. So this is the permanent sketch that is done with waterproof ink. So I started with adding a few more details on the foreground buildings, on the cornices, on the rooftops, suggesting some windows, some texture on the building. Regarding the statues, at this point I am refining them even more. Now it's much easier to draw on top of an already detailed pencil sketch. The beginning was the hardest.
So we are now at the watercolor part and this is an ongoing process of adding a layer, letting it dry a bit, adding a bit more, taking a break, looking at what we can do more and so on. I first started with the, with the background buildings, with a simple wash of raw sienna and burnt sienna. Also a simple cobalt blue light wash on the sky. Then I continued with suggesting the water in the foreground and also the shadow part. After this, I focused a bit more on the statues and adding to them just a simple overall shadow to kind of render out their three-dimensional shape but i will let you enjoy the whole process and come back with a few words at the next step
Okay, now we arrived at the last step where we will add a few final touches. I am using a rotring pen with waterproof ink and just adding a few more details on the windows, on the statues, hatching a few areas. The idea is to suggest more information without adding too much, but also to increase the contrast. At the end, I also used a bit of white gouache to suggest some extra highlights. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Please subscribe, like and comment on this video because it helps my channel a lot 
and because I post urban sketching videos every week where I try to incorporate a few tips for you. Take care and see you in the next video!